got the crank pulley off. I got this cover off. I'm gonna clean this up too. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. I got a little part splitter back here. I'm gonna clean off and clean up. Let's show you what I found in this thing here. So the guy gave me a really good idea about taking and uh, using a lot out or something to put on here. But look y'all, there he is. Oh, I would say that that's probably the culprit. Hold on, my wife's calling. All right, sorry about that. So yeah, so took that cover off and I found a bolt in there. So evidently they have, they lost a bolt or something because when I first took this thing apart, uh, I found a washer like right in here where my finger's at. I found a little lock washer now I found the head of a bolt. So, uh, when we did get it running, we heard a couple clinks and we didn't really know what it was. It was weird sounding. And I about bet that it was grabbing that bolt and spinning it around in there. So, now that we know that, probably not even gonna do the whole wide out thing. Um, I'm gonna get the belt off. And uh, once I get the belt off, I'm gonna check everything. I'm gonna spray everything with brake cleaner, clean everything real good and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens from there. If I don't see anything that's unusual other than that bolt, I've got a belt on the way. Uh, should be here into this week. Again, next week we'll put that back on. Um, we'll order the uh, hoses this week. Hopefully tomorrow, um, we'll get the hoses ordered and get them in here. And uh, yeah, we'll get it put together. But anyway, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna go ahead and take this belt off. Um, maybe putting some tail lights in on this. On this one, I am actually not gonna do it. Andrew's gonna do it on his FJ. He bought some tail lights for it. Um, uh, I did order the 12 volt to 5 volt conversion box for the car so I can hook it up because what I have found out, hold on a minute, let me get this thing. Uh, what the crap? I don't want schedule. All right, there we go. All right, so anyway, what I found out on the car is I had it hooked up to a cigarette lighter, which was a five volt source, right? So it's supposed to be five volts or less, and then you run a power wire from it to the, uh, to the computer, then you run a ground wire off, you run a ground wire to the switch, from the switch to a ground, and then uh, you run a resistor in it. So what was happening is it would be four and a half volts, five volts when you first start the car and it would progressively go up to about six, seven, eight volts. When it was getting up to six, seven, eight volts, the uh, ground is not working as it should. And uh, yeah, it just, it just wasn't deactivating the two-step enough. So whenever you would get up to, you know, whatever you had two-step set up, um, that one video that said like 4,500. So once you get the two-step up to, to 4,500, it would actually go into like cut and spark, not fully, but a little bit because it was just, it was creeping over that five volt mark. Bought this box, we'll see what we can do with it and uh, go from there, but I'm gonna get this belt off right quick, y'all. Look here, y'all. Bad idea to have this thing in here. It's gonna be want me to get out and get riding springtime. I still need to, this was, I think this was tore when I had it the first time. Get that fixed, but there she is, y'all, in all her greatness. I gotta take the carburetor apart. When we was riding around at the wedding, it started staying revved up, so I gotta take all this off, take the carburetor, or just take some pieces off and see if I can get in there and squirt the cable, maybe, or something. Um, maybe just cable is just a little loose, or I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold down the cables, I'll take this apart, grease it down. Grease that down because it's going to be springtime before long. That one right there, I know he's going to want to go riding. So we might go try to hit up Adam some this year if we can. We'll get Ashley's little bike run. She's got a little TTR 125. We'll get it running. Maybe all of us can go over to Adam's and ride around here and stuff like that. So we'll see. What do you think about that? You got to be good though, right? All right. So I'm about done with this for tonight. Uh, I don't know if Andrew's coming or not. You see, I cleaned it up some. Uh, I just want to make sure there wasn't any other more pieces in there. Uh, so I'm gonna get all this stuff set on top dead center. Uh, of course, these have got to be up here. 
that one's the same way it's got to be up there and then we'll get the crank on the thing and that way when we get the belt all we gotta do is put it on um yeah i'm gonna check all these bolts make sure nothing's backed out that i can't see uh yeah i don't know i don't know where that bolt come from yes i do know where that bolt come from look right there boom gone broke it off so that bolt is gone that holds that cover the cover's getting tight because of that bolt so when i turn these cams i'll check these bolts but that's what happened this cam gear has hit these bolts cam gear hit the bolt somewhere and broke that bolt off and got down in there and tore that belt up so that's what happened y'all there's the culprit so yeah we'll get the belt i'm not going to get this video out until i get this belt put on so i can go through the process of what i do to make sure it's on top dead center to make sure it's actually on top dead center i also check uh so on these like you got to pull this bracket off here so you can get to your cam position sensor oh man she needs a cap too i might just pull the cap off of mine and put on it and then order me a new one because the one that's on the white car is a brand new one anyway so i'll just take the one off the white car put it on here and get me another one but then i'll get all new hoses and uh everything like that but yeah so we found the culprit y'all so now we just gotta get the time belt on I gotta order all the hoses, get all the hoses put on, and of course the intercooler popping and all that mess, and we'll have it all back together for us. So hopefully we can get this running within the next two weeks ish. So, and then uh, I don't know what they're gonna do on the bodywork. I don't know if they're gonna want me to do any of this, or if they're gonna just take it somewhere. I don't know what they're wanting to do, but yeah, we'll get to it. All right, y'all. So we worked on that a little bit, got cleaned up a little bit. There's your timing mark pieces for it. 0, 5, 10, 15. It don't go to 45, which is what we need. Nah, just kidding. Anyway, got that cleaned up a little bit. I'm going in. Got the heater doing a little sign there. Um, but done for this evening. Hopefully, we'll get this timing belt come this weekend. We get this timing belt on. I'm going to order the, uh, all the hoses. I'm going to order all that tomorrow. Today is Tuesday. So, I'm going to order all the hoses tomorrow. Hopefully we can get the hoses here within a week or so, and it'll be all of them, be all these hoses here, all the intercooler popping and everything. So hopefully we can get all these in and get this thing back together. So let's go in for tonight. What are you doing? Nothing, I ain't taking your bike apart totally. He's taking my bike apart. I guess I'm gonna have to do this to his bike so he'll learn to stand up and ride. Uh-uh. Instead of sitting down and riding all the time. See, what's going to happen is this 40-year-old man is going to go whoop your hind end at the track. This, If you trash time me one more time, this is going to be another part taken off. It's already off. It's already off. Well, another part, the other side will come off. It's going to come off because I told you to. He's going to take my bike for y'all. We're going to work on the carburetor. Probably not today, but I just figured give you something to do today. So, there you go. Okay, y'all. It's been a couple days. Look, got all the hoses. Uh, I got the time belt, it's down there as well. So we're gonna start on this thing. I'm gonna get it on top dead center. So I'm gonna pull a plug out, turn the crank, get on top dead center, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, so here we go, let's get to it. Hopefully we can get, my goal is to get this thing done and out of the garage today. Um, as soon as I get it done, I'm gonna message people, let them know it's done. Tell them they come over and drive it. I think it's gonna, I, I know it's gonna need front struts, so um, I told them they could come over, drive it, uh, see how it does and everything. And then they want me to put struts on, put struts on it. So we'll go from there. So let's get this thing back together. All right, y'all, I want to show y'all something a little different, just so y'all can kind of get an idea of uh, how much of an upgraded turbo I have on my black car. I'm going to show you the one on this red car because this red car is completely stock. And then I'm going to bring you over here and show you the one on the black car. Just straight video without any interruptions on it here, any cuts or anything. So let me show you. So we're working on it. We got new hose on there. We got a new, got that charge pop on down there now that wasn't on. But just to give you an idea, that's a stock turbo. It's 47 millimeters. You can see, got plenty of room here, right? All right, now, let's show you a little difference here. Cleaning up a bracket for her. Bruh. Let's 
to give you an idea of the difference. I have no room and had to use a spacer to get it in there. So the air filter on this one is bigger than the turbo on the other one. Just to give you an idea of how much of a bigger turbo this motor has on it. So I just thought that was pretty cool for uh, just a little reference there. But anyway, little useless knowledge. That one on that car is in 7675. The one on the other car stock, I think it's 47 something, so. All right, y'all, we're getting it. We got the cover on, got that cover on, got that hose on, got this up, got this hose on. We gotta put, I'm gonna work on all the top hoses once I get all this back together. So I gotta put the fan on and the crank pulley and the belts. Put the fan, crank pulley, belts, we got all this on. Eventually she'll have to have a new one of these. This thing's, uh, there's a little, little mess up. I'll have to get an air filter, but I'll make sure everything runs right. Um, but yeah, we're getting it, y'all. It's getting there. Look how much cleaner it looks down in there now. But that's how far we got. Let's keep at it. All right, y'all, we're getting there. Look, we got our hoses on. Getting everything on, all your new hoses. I got those two I'm gonna put on. Got all the belts on. I had to cut this. Don't mind, that's trash. I don't have the bolts of this. I don't know where they're at. They wasn't in it when I got it. So I'll have to figure out something there. I'm, I'll probably try to find something for them. I was just trying to get it done. I got that tightened. I got to tighten up the bolt on it. We're getting close, y'all. We're getting close to firing this thing off, see what it's going to do. Uh, I'll have to get a battery to set in it to start it. Um, I might just jerk the one out of my Supra for a minute. But yeah, we're getting there. So, see if we can get this thing finished up today. All right, y'all, so it's running. Got Andrew over here. It's running, good, no leaks. It revs, but it's got dead mist in it. So, it's got auto light plugs in it. I'm gonna talk to them and see if they'll let me put some NGKs in it, some factory plugs. Uh, if they'll let me do that. That way I can check the plugs, check uh, all the wires, make sure everything's right. I pulled the number one out. It was really, really black. Look at here, y'all. We got everything together. It's running. It revs. This has got dead mist, so we'll, uh, we'll get the mist figured out. After we get the mist figured out, uh, well, actually, we'll do plugs and stuff, but we'll get the mist figured out. Once we get it figured out, I'll let them know so they can come drive it, but it's not running rich. I am going to try to pull it out of the garage, maybe because this battery is not the right battery. I won't wait till I get a battery. So on top of this, let me get a battery and sit there, let me put some NGK plugs in it and go from there. So, haha, <laughs> y'all thought it was the end of the video. We well, here, y'all. So I pulled the wires off one by one. It was missing uh, number three wasn't firing. No, the coil was firing, plug button. Good to go, y'all. I think. I'm gonna tell them that it needs all plugs. I'll put an NGK, you can turn it off, Andrew. So I'll put an NGK plug in it. Um, yeah, put an NGK plug in it out of the white car and fire right up. The other, it had auto lights in it. Don't know why they put auto lights in it. It's one of those things. Anyway, that's it, y'all. Sorry. So that's it for that one. I told you I have it running before I put this video out. But, uh, ooh, man, I need a haircut. Uh, got it running, got all the hoses on. We had some hoses that looked like they had replaced it looked really well so i didn't mess with them i'm gonna put this battery back in my supra and uh yeah that's it for this one y'all um i see on my bike tour part i haven't put a plug in it but as far as i know that's all i have I told you guys we'll get it running before we got this one over with but anyway i appreciate y'all watching like share subscribe comment and we'll get it run for the next one